Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. The streak continues. We're up to five, going for six. Seed is V39HFJAC. And away we go. Uh, okay, so yeah, uh, we've been streaking. We've been, or at least attempting to. I mean, uh, I don't know what, like, my record is for uh, an Isaac streak. I think it's probably, like, ooh. Mmm, sure. We'll take it. I may regret this. This item can be really good. That was just horrible. Uh, or it could be, it, it can also be, like, kind of atrocious. Right now, it's kind of being sort of bad. Where are my actual, like, decent tier effects? Oh, please. Please, champion enemy. Stop. Yeah, I'm, I'm regretting taking food cake right, or fruit cake right now. Not gonna lie. Uh, please. Like... Wow, that was just a horrible room. Um, okay, so we got an Awas rune. We should have rerolled it. I just realized we have this battery charge. Like, we should have, we should have rerolled for sure. All right, we need to blow this up and hopefully get some spirit hearts. We didn't get spirit hearts. This is <laughs> the worst. Ah, okay. Fruitcake is not doing good things. Wow. That was just, uh, all right, rip streak. Well, I guess we'll try again. 000X K16N. Anytime you have three of the same uh, number or letter in the seed, I think that probably means something. 0000. zero, zero, zero. Uh, three zeros and one in the same seed? Like, I don't know. Maybe this will be a, a zero difficulty run. Or maybe it'll be a run that gives me zero benefits. I don't know. We'll have to see how the run goes to decipher what exactly three zeros in the seed means. But maybe it'll be good and maybe it won't. I don't know. I do want to hope to have a good run. I'm, I'm very disappointed. And you know, the thing is, like... I just woke up. This is the first run of the day. Maybe uh, there was some bad dodging at play there, and that's what ultimately did us in, but at the same time, like, fruitcake. It can't... Champions, I'll tell ya. Um, but maybe we just got a bad... I don't know. I don't know. Either way, we ruined our... Uh, we're, we have now set ourselves behind by five uh, wins. So... It's like starting over from square one, and I don't know. Maybe we should, uh, maybe we should do something else for streaks? I don't know. I, I like Isaac, but, uh, maybe we should go back to Eden. Or maybe we should just do something different altogether? I don't know. Maybe we should just play the game. We'll have to see. I'm enjoying the, I, 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 I like the idea of a streak, uh, th but, like... I, I don't know. The things have been... Um... Well... If I put this bomb here... It should reach those. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's see what we get. Ah, I was really hoping there for... A bomb? Or a key? Or something? That wasn't a terrible trinket? Because now we basically just spent our bomb. Well, actually, we got golden bombs. What am I talking about? We should, uh, actually be, like, using those often and very much. And we put down more spiders. Okay, come on. Yep. Well. Grab that. Hmm. So with golden bombs, let's see, where do we want to go from here? I think this is basically all... We could go this way? Yeah, here we go. That should deal with a couple of these little flies. And with golden bombs, like... Okay, there we go. That'll take out those enemies. And... There we go. Don't get hit by that. Uh, secret room, perhaps? Yes. Okay, blow you up. Three of these guys with, uh... Hmm. Burn Penny's decent. It's a fairly good trinket. Gives us at least a good chance of getting more bombs, which is going to be really valuable. A 
There we go. Check for a second secret room. Check for a second secret room. Nothing. All right, our boss is pin. And we kind of biffed the whole bomb thing there, but... And there. That ought to do it. Lovely. Um... Hmm. Let's leave that for now. We have one reroll. Maybe two? We might have two rerolls. I don't know. Let's look for, uh... Something over... Yeah, a, so we reroll that into Peeper's Eye, which is... Better than... <laughs> Better than Isaac's heart, for certain. Because Isaac's heart is just, like, horrible in so many ways. And then we have another re-roll here. I think we're going to take advantage of it. And we're going to re-roll um, Magic Scab. I think that's the way to handle this properly. Because, like, HP is great, but really what I'm looking for is some sort of DPS upgrade. Yeah, there we go, Mr. Dolly. That's much better. Gives us a bunch of Spirit Hearts. Gives us a Tears upgrade. Considerably better. And the peeper is not a great item, but it's something at least. Now, unfortunately, we don't have golden bombs anymore, which kind of carried us through that last floor, but uh, hopefully now that we've gotten this tiers upgrade, we'll be a little bit better off. Swing in here, see what we got. Couple of black hearts. Okay, I'm all in favor. Yeah, uh, careful. Come on. Where's this last dude? Here he is. There we go. Hmm. <laughs> I have to say, I'm not a fan of, like, throwing away a run on the first floor within, like, the first couple minutes. The run was, like, there was no excuse for that. The more this happens, the more I'm coming to realize that, like, mistakes were made in a big way. Take that. Okay. So, there's some stuff here. Uh, and actually, I think you want to put a bomb there, too, since this is a tinted rock and all that kind of stuff. Um, check the secret room. Uh, greed. Okay, well, if you drop steam sail, I will be a happy person. But, if you don't drop steam sail... Careful! Ah, I got hit. That's fine. Come on, die. Hey, you drop steam sail. Okay. So this actually ended up being very worth it. So that's good. We'll check the golden chest. Uh, that's not an item we want. At all. But this... We do want to check the shop. Let's see. Uh, I don't think there's really anything here that we want either. Although a battery charge is fairly appealing. Let's roll, uh, let's re-roll that. Harlequin Baby is okay, but not awesome. Uh, and actually, we should absolutely... Uh, let's check here for a second secret room first. There we go. What do we got? More black hearts. That's totally fine. Come on. And... There we go. So we'll take those. Uh, we're gonna run back to the shop. We're going to buy a battery charge to take with us into our boss fight because we want to be able to reroll our deal. And then we'll probably go back and we might just end up taking... Um, what was even in the item room? I don't remember. But whatever. It's fine. We'll probably end up rerolling something, though, I imagine. Please die just a little faster. Almost. Gotcha. You're done. Ah, that might be worth re-rolling. Wow! Really? Really? You're gonna do that for a first deal? That's just insulting. Okay, so we could re-roll Dad's Lost Coin. That would give us, uh, basically it, it would give us one cent and a luck upgrade, which is pretty terrible. Or, we could re-roll our item room. And I forget what's actually in the item room. Dunce cap. I think we reroll dunce cap. Yeah, so contagion's good. I'm happy to have it. It's kind of a DPS upgrade in a way. 
We don't really care about any of this other stuff. Like what's in the shop and things like that. So we'll take Dad's Lost Coin. It does give us a luck upgrade. And we're out. But our first deal was a huge, huge disappointment. And that's horribly unfortunate for us. Um, thank you, Contagion. Wow. I just let him run right into me. We'll check here, because this, just in case this is a, a secret room to the, I want to get into the cursed room, but at the same time, like, I want to make sure that our secret room is, you know, uh, let's not stand here. Yeah, get rid of that. There we go. All right, the worst is over. Don't get hit by that. There we go. Ooh, golden keys. I like golden keys. All right, let's check this, see what we got. Uh, and we got trash. So... Basically just threw away a black heart. Because of course we did. And now we got these guys. Who we need to avoid. Ah! Ha, 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 ha. Why? Every time. That's a charged key. So we probably don't want to pick that up yet. Because that's ultimately a battery charge. Really? I thought I was out of the way of that. But I guess not. Come on. This room is beginning to annoy. All right, there we go. Hmm. Okay, we got a double key room. So it's a good room to have golden keys for, I suppose. We'll check here for a secret room just in case. Yeah, I didn't think so. What do we got? Uh, Rerolls all items on the floor. So that could actually be very good now that we know it's here. Maybe we'll uh, be able to do something useful with this. We'll leave that behind. And maybe we'll end up using it. Careful. Okay, Spider Boy's dead. What you got? Battery charge. I like battery charges lying on the ground. That's more rerolls potentially. Thank you, Contagion. Hey, there's the item room. So I think we probably go for broke on the item room. I mean, we still want to make sure we have at least enough battery power to reroll a deal should we get lucky and get one. Ooh, I mean, you don't you don't want to reroll that. That's just a, an amazing item. What do we got in here? Uh, okay, so yeah, we'll take nine volts as well. And then we worry about these dudes. And Serpent's Kiss is going to give us, like, so many black hearts. So I guess the only thing left, really, to reroll in huge quantities would be our, uh, our item, or not our item room, our, um, also, can we please stop with the frame ramp drops? Uh, would be our boss item, whatever we get there. And potentially a deal, but realistically, our boss item is far more likely. Can we please actually kill these guys? There's one. And two. And we got a spirit heart. All right. Boss is little Chad. So, yeah, we'll uh, we'll probably re-roll this. I imagine. That, at least that's the plan. Careful. And he's not dead, but we're getting there. This is He's not the most annoying of all bosses, but he can be a nuisance from time to time. Deal? No deal. All right, reroll. Yeah, that's a no-go. We don't want that. We're looking for better. I want a damage upgrade. Or a tears upgrade. But preferably a damage upgrade. I'm not even asking for, like, magic mush. I think, like, the... My perfect item here would be, like, growth hormones. Something like that. Something useful. Because, like... I don't know. The run is getting a little scary. And we can reroll it one more time using, um... 
uh, the dice room as well. So we got to remember that. And also we should take a peek in here and just see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Growth hormones. Fantastic. All right, we're out. Down to the next floor. Got a speed upgrade. Got a damage upgrade. Very, very good. And we have a ton of HP, and we got Serpent's Kiss. And Serpent's Kiss is just an amazing item all around, so... Or at least when you're firing actual tears. And you can actually get Spirit Hearts. There are some characters where Serpent's Kiss is not very good. I.e. the Keeper. The Lost. Because you don't care about the Black Hearts. But everybody else... Always happy to have Serpent's Kiss. Uh, and we can basically trade two bombs for... Like, four bombs? So I think that's worth it. We'll do it. Get rid of that. There's our boss fight already. That didn't take long. And we're gonna have a uh, charge as soon as we finish fighting our boss, so might as well take care of it. Careful. And Contagion just did amazing things there. Ooh, okay. So... Yes to Gimpy. Reroll everything else. We'll take Death's List as well. And we're going to leave the HP and everything else behind. Because I want to see, before I go about rerolling some of this stuff, I want to see, like, kind of where we stand with other items. Okay, what's next on the Death's List? I think Peeper may have killed something for me. Careful. Check the shop. It's greed. Okay. Avoid. Ah. That's all right. Give me another steam sale, please. No. Okay. Well, at least you gave me a ton of HP. And we're going to get a bunch of bombs and stuff as well. Thanks to Burnt Penny. I know I missed a bomb. I don't care. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's okay. And then, like, Death's List, we're basically hoping for stat upgrades. Specifically, damage. That's what we need more than anything else with Death's List. But we don't really have a run that's, like, super conducive to Death's List. Because of Contagion and all these familiars that are bouncing around. Like, this isn't a great run for taking out specific enemies. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So, unless we get something that's a little bit more precise than our current setup, we might have some issues here. Let's check this out. Yeah, you know what? Sure. I'll pop into four golden chests and we'll hope for, like, a cricket's head or something. Okay. Avoid. We're fine. We made it. Strength card. Um, almost tempted to pop that, honestly. Hey, blood bag. I will take it a speed upgrade as well, which is fairly valuable. It's not Cricket's Head, but it's still good. But unfortunately, now we gotta fight Mega Fatty, and our damage is not like that good. Plus, Mega, Mega Fatty is just like super annoyingly tanky, so that's a thing. But, Mega Maw is dying a lot faster. <laughs> And you're dead. There we go. Take the black heart. We're still at full HP. Where's our item room at? Not there. Is it over here? Nope. Yeah, figured. Well, at least we're getting black hearts in vast quantities. Like, we should be perfectly okay from, like, a survivability standpoint here. At least I think so. But what we really need is like some amazing DPS item that has not yet revealed itself. Yeah, Contagion's gonna make it really hard to make Death's List work for us, I think. Okay, you're dead and you're dead. Let's see what we got in here. I'm gonna blow that up. Okay. We'll play this a little bit. Not sure exactly what I'm looking for. 
Uh, and I will give up one black heart. Eh, I tried. It was worth an attempt. What do we got in here? PhD. I'm just going to take that. Straight up. It also allows me to play this a little bit more. And we have, like, enough black hearts. How many black hearts do we have lying around? We got one. I see one. And we got another blood bag out of it. Look at that. So we're up to two speed. That actually worked out better than expected. So now, what do we want to reroll? We want to reroll, ideally, our deal with the devil. Which is not happening. We'll reroll this. We're not looking for more HP. And actually, I think our shop was greed, wasn't it? Yeah. So, I guess we'll take the red heart. As much as I don't necessarily want to. You know, and hope that we can trade it away in a good deal with the devil. That's basically what's going on here. Hey, look at that. We actually got a deathless payout. Avoid. Yep, didn't quite avoid all of them, but battery charge line there is good. That's a spike. Stupid spikes. Okay. There we go. That actually would have been a really good room for death's list if I'd been paying a little bit more attention. This room, on the other hand, is not. This is a horrible room for death's list because they break into other enemies. Check the cursed room. Not really what we're looking for. What do we got here? Ah! These guys, I'll tell you. Come on. So many spawners. Please die. There we go. What you got? Nothing. Well, we found our boss right away. That's nice. I don't think boss rush is, like, likely to happen here. It just seems very, very unlikely at the present moment. Ah, ha, ha, ha. He's chasing. Stay away. Yeah. Uh, uh, excuse me? You pushed him out of the way. That's not a thing that you're supposed to be able to do. Why would you continue to stand there, self? That was just real dumb. All right, that one's dead. And then we just got to take that one out. There we go. We made it. Ah, pentagram's lovely. And honestly, I think you take the mark as well. Come on. There we go. Gave us a shot speed upgrade, which is something. The mark is real good. It's a nice item. It gives us damage. Always appreciated, but we got to go back and we got to find our item room. Uh, boss rush, obviously, just not happening. Like, we were too slow. Uh, I mistimed that. But whatever. We have so many black hearts lying on the ground that, like, whatever. Who even actually cares at this point? go and that also triggers death li death's list those uh, rooms without enemies so it is possible to get some sort of uh, death's list payout from that what do we got in here eee, that's also pretty bad so let's re-roll it into rosary no thank you uh, let's buy a battery. Sure, we'll take that. And now we have so much money and steam sale that I think it's worth it to buy this. And for three cents, I will totally buy a trinket smelter, especially since it gives us the ability to reroll that item into something else at some point. Uh, or I'll buy the backpack, which allows me to just take trinket smelter with me. Yes, starter deck is great. I would love to have a dice shard. Reroll again. A second dice shard, sure. Reroll again. Champion belt is great. 
And honestly, <laughs> let's buy a blank card as our second item. And then we got a strength and a hermit card. I think you stick with strength. We roll again. You definitely want humbling bundle. You see what this is to a clubs? Uh, we're just going to pop it. Also buy nun's habit. So now we have blank card and the D6. Dice shard is like, you know, whatever. Um, tell you what. Let's drop our cards for a second since we have this dice shard here. Reroll that. Oh, here we go. Take this. Use it. See what we get here. Okay. So check this out. Give me that strength card. Use the strength card. We now have a level four meat boy. I'm all in favor of this. So then we take dice shard and you know what? We'll buy this other one just to see what it is. It's a wheel of fortune. Okay. I'm fairly happy with that shop. That worked out. Wasn't that a pill? That was a pill, but that's right. We spent, uh, let's see what this is. Strength. Uh, sure. Strength is better than Wheel of Fortune. All right, let's go. I mean, obviously we have completely missed boss rush, but who cares? Not me. And we are down to the depths two. Not a fast run. But not bad either. I mean, we got acceptably good damage. We have a level four meat boy, which is great. Not great for death's list, but great in other ways. We didn't quite manage to make death's list work for us there. There's something I like to see. That, of course, being... Our item room. What do we got? The poop. That gets rerolled for sure. Epiphora, I personally kind of think is like super trash. So I think what we want to do is blank card dice shard. That also I think is pretty bad. So now, uh, you just get blown up. I'll take it. It's a decent trinket, especially with blank card. The more cards we can get our hands on, the merrier. That's good to know that that's there. And here, like, we want to take out these monstros in order. Try and get Death's List to pop for us and hopefully get a little bit of a damage upgrade as a result. That would be real nice. Well, we did get Death's List. We did not get any real benefit out of it. Another battery. Okay. Uh, we'll just kind of remember that that's there. We've got a couple of battery charges here. I don't want to use them just yet since we're so close to having a charge just, like, naturally. There we go. Grab that. All right, let's go back and re-roll our item room. We're taking our time here, but I think that's okay. Like, I'm fine with this. So, re-roll. Uh, we'll pick it up and put it down. Re-roll again. Hmm. Sure. Odd mushroom I can live with. Gives us one red heart. Plus, on top of that, get a battery charge in here, right? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't uh, charge both items. Ah, I learned a new thing today. Is there a battery charge back here? No, there isn't. Still, that's uh, real interesting. I did not know that. Okay. Okay. Now, the annoying thing about using blank card as your second item is that it's a little funky to, like, get some things to work for you. What are you? Huge growth. Eh. I'll stick with the strength card, I think. I want half a red heart. I don't even need to... Uh, I don't even care about the bombs. We've got 89 bombs. Like, what do I need a couple more for? 
And let's go. Uh, we probably should have looked for our shop. That was stupid of me, but whatever. Either way, it's fine. Attack. Kill. Do it. Meat Boy, get him. We have a level 4 Meat Boy. Go kill things, Meat Boy. You can do it. Hey, ow. I went to pick up the black heart to regain my health, and then I immediately ran into an enemy, because of course I did. There we go. Oh, there's one dude left, and we get basically no deal. Ha! Ah, okay, down to the next floor. But we have, like, tons of rerolls, so this is great. We're hoping right here, greatest deal with the devil of all time, guaranteed it's gonna happen. We're gonna get uh, Brimstone, Mom's Knife, The Pact, and um, Spirit of the Night, all in the same deal with the devil. Plus all three guppy items at the same time. It, it's guaranteed, 100%. Place your bets. Justice. Ansus. Ooh, I like a little blank card Ansus action here. Uh, so, let's say... So what we need to do is we need to drop that, pick this up, pick that up, pick this up. There we go. So now blank card Ansus or Ansus or however you want to pronounce it. It really doesn't matter. We'll roll with that. We do want to check this out. We're going to look here for uh, small rock, basically. Not going to get it. Two of clubs. Don't care. Check this. Uh, sure, we'll give it. A, we'll give it a try. It ended up really not being worth it, but uh, contagion, I guess, is just not a thing on enemy on rooms where you trigger the enemies. That's unfortunate, but whatever. Could really use another tiers upgrade, honestly. Like that would probably be the largest improvement to our run, short of like you know an amazing deal. But at this point, give me, like, any of the tiers upgrades. Give me, like, toothpicks, the screw, anything like that. Anything to get me up to that five rate of fire. We haven't actually, like, ended up at the tier cap for a run in, like, way, way, way too long. Oh, okay. Well. Okay. Avoid. We made it. We're good. Bomb. Check the secret room. Gives us money. Hush, I'm looking at the time right now. Like, hush is not gonna happen. Um. A reroll. Ooh, that's much better. Ceremonial robes. Gives us a nice little damage upgrade. It's not huge, but it's something. I'm good with this. Uh, so now... I can't believe I allowed myself to get hit by that. But thank you, Gimpy, for taking care of it anyway. I think we just got a speed upgrade from uh, Death's List, which means that since we're already at the speed cap, we don't get anything. Because we didn't have any stats actually go up, but we had the little, like, Congratulations, you just got a stat upgrade little sound. So, I'm thinking it was a speed upgrade. Oh, careful. There we go. Luck upgrade. That's good, we're up to three luck now. Um... Use it. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is good. So, blow this dude up. Give me that increased deal with the devil chance. That, that gives us a 90% chance of a deal with the devil. If we don't get a deal with the devil here, I'll be real mad. We're at a 90% chance. And this is just black hearts. So who really cares? Not me. I'll take one. Just so we have all black hearts. But I don't think it really matters that much. Anytime. There we go. And 
Then final room before the boss. There we go. Um, and I have, I think we're good. Let's just go fight. Oh, this isn't even mom. This is, uh, that's right, we're only on the womb. Wow, we're slow. <laughs> we're like a full floor behind schedule. That's so bad. Uh, yeah, Meat Boy, please like get in there and do things. Ah, hey, look at that. Contagion's actually doing stuff now. You're almost dead. There we go. Hey, we got what we asked for, a tiers upgrade. So now we're at the tier cap, that's great. Ooh, and, um... Yeah, I think the ability to fly is worth it. Also gives us Leviathan, which is pretty solid. And we'll head down to the next floor. So we're at the tier cap, we can fly, we got spectral tiers. And I'd say what is acceptable damage. I wouldn't say our damage is great, but it's not terrible either. And then on top of that, you know, we got like Serpent's Kiss and stuff too. So uh, Ansus is just basically a better world card. So I think you'd definitely roll that. There we go. Got a shot speed upgrade. Two of diamonds I'm just going to pop. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, nothing I particularly care about. We'll leave the battery charge. Uh, no, I, I want the Ansus rune, please. Thank you. Pop up. Okay, there we go. Uh, excuse me? What just hit me? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really care that much. We're going to have more black hearts dropping all over the place, so it's it's whatever. Yeah, careful. Get rid of these stupid little flies. They're the most annoying of most of the uh, yeah, this is fine. Uh what are you? Blank room. I'll stick with Ansus, honestly. It's kind of hoping for something a little better than that, but whatever. Okay, you're dead. And now you, there we go. I don't think I want the Eternal Heart. Algis is excellent. Uh, but I think, uh, I don't know, like blank card Algis or blank card Ansus. Hmm, that's kind of a tough one, isn't it? There's pros and cons to each for sure. I do want to point out that I don't well, no, we did get growth hormones. I was going to say, I don't think we've gotten, like, a single deal or a single uh, boss item that was actually a damage upgrade, but I suppose we did get growth hormones. Okay, so you get blown up in the name of an increased deal chance. And then we're going to pop in here, and we're going to fight it lives, and we're going to hope and pray that somehow we beat the odds and we get a deal and are able to do something useful with it. That's essentially what we're hoping for. As, as unlikely as that may end up being, yeah, this is just a garbage room, or a, a garbage wave. Get him, meat boy. You, do, you can do it. And no deal. Okay, grab that. I don't really care about any of the rest of it. Let's just go. We could go back for alg uh, for algas, but like, do we really care? I don't think so. I like having this Ansus rune. There we go. Let's check this out. That's totally not worth it. <laughs> not even close. Okay, you're dead. Uh, and you summoned enemies, so now... I'm not going to be able to kill you in order, but whatever. I wouldn't mind those guys dropping a steam sail for me, though, because, like, that would be... Ah, that was so bad. Let's make it in here. Again? Trash. Like, our cursed rooms, for the most part, have not really helped us, like, at all. We know this is a secret room. It's a secret room that basically just gives us a ton of bombs. Okay. 
I'm not even gonna try and make Deathless work on this room because this room is annoying enough as... Excuse me? Oh, there was one that I just couldn't see. But he was there. I, I see it now. Uh, definitely Super Envy for Contagion. Dude, don't. There we go. Envy gets wrecked by Contagion. It's a true story. So most of the Envies are probably dead. There's probably like a little... A couple of little outliers bouncing around, but... Oh, really? Wow. Well, I regret some of this damage and stuff, but what are you gonna do? Come on. Go. Blow this up. Check the second secret room. Second secret room gives us red hearts that we don't need. Ah, oh, all right. Let's fight Isaac. Yeah, get on him, Super Meat Boy. Get in there, do some damage. I need to remember that I have permanent polarized invisibility only for short periods. But we're almost into phase two. Stop with those shots, please. Also, it seems like Serpent's Kiss has slowed down on the payouts a little bit. Or maybe I've just taken a lot more damage on this floor than I thought, but... Seems like we haven't gotten a ton of Serpent's Kiss payouts. I kind of would have expected to get a bunch of them against Envy, honestly, but... Oh, well. Oh, that was just horrible damage. I deserve that one. Avoid... No, please. I tried. There we go. We made it. I got a black heart back. I'm not, I'm still not really worried about our health. Like, we're going to be okay. It's going to be fine. All right, Curse of Darkness. So first things first, plop, pop Ansu's. Second, check these out. Um, I mean, yeah, we'll take Nod Leaf. We're going to re-roll everything else. Definitely want money equals power. That's a... Really? Only a 2.69 damage upgrade? When we have 99 cents? I expected that to be higher. Um, it's fine, though. So now we drop these. We pick this up. And this up. And then dice shard up. And that way, dice shard is bound to blank card. Which is what we want. Please don't. And now we uh, start clearing rooms. We do have three locks, so it's likely that we'll get some. Uh, some HP and some more items and all that kind of good stuff. We're only one room away from having a blank card charge. And we can go back and reroll. Uh, what was it? Oh, dude. Stop with the stupid damage. Thank you. Serpent's Kiss. And where have my Gimpy payouts been as well? Like, I feel like we've been missing some. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want. Sagittarius. Piercing shots. Awesome. That's very, very, very good. That helps tremendously with making the run much, much better. Okay, so there's our boss over there. I kind of want to clear the whole floor, if I'm being entirely honest. This is, uh, yeah, this room sucks. <laughs> Unless you have, like, amazingly good damage, which we don't. There we go. Uh, please don't. Yeah, barely made it away from that in time. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Hey, a damage upgrade. Look at that. They exist. Okay, Contagion dropping a billion half-red hearts. Can't say that really does me a ton of good. What I'm really looking for here are black hearts to drop. Especially with, like, Serpent's Kiss and stuff, but... Instead, I guess we'll just get infinite... Whatever. We're gonna reroll that. We're gonna reroll that again. Oh, that's right, dude! I totally forgot about... Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is actually great. Because now all of these chests become items. Ultimately, we want Cricket's body. Um, does scapular? I think scapular only works when you have a half red heart. But still, like, there's a lot of good stuff here. I mean, I tell you what, let's take what we have and let's just drop it over here. And then I'm actually going to leave the room, come back, get rid of some of these chests and stuff. We're going to slide a bomb over here, to just kind of get some of this junk, like, out of the way. See what that is. Ace of Diamonds, not something we want. Ansus we no longer need. Emperor card is fine. Strength card. So really what we want, we obviously want the Cancer Trinket. And I think we definitely want uh, Dice Shard. And we're going to reroll all of this again using Dice Shard. Uh, Ace of Diamonds. Let's just roll Strength. That'll be fine. Okay. So. And Cricket's body is like so helpful. We're at a two rate of fire now. Thanks to the Cancer Trinket and thanks to Cricket's body. So that's pretty solid and we can't really complain. The run is now like really good. Just as a result, almost exclusively of that huge rate, uh, that huge rate of fire increase. Look at that. We're just destroying stuff now. Uh, so now we can come back in here and we can go blank card dice shard again. Take a lot of this stuff, open that up. Check out some of these. What do we, uh, okay. So, yes. Um, also yes. And I think that's all that we want here. The rest of these will uh, come back and handle momentarily. But like sinus infection is just gonna destroy things. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Anytime you want to, like, pop out. There we go. And you're very dead. That's... It's, it's gorgeous. It's, this is, like... This run has... Uh, that room, basically by itself, has, like, completely changed the way this run feels. And I'm loving that. Uh, what did we get hit by? Probably just one of the random tears that's flying around all over the place because Greed's a jerk. There we go. Lovely. Blow that up. Let's see what we got. Uh, sure. We'll take BBF. Why not? Okay, and then... Let's do one of those. And there's some really good stuff here. So... Um... Yes. Also, yes. Um... I'm gonna pick this up. Because it contributes to Bookworm. But then I'm gonna put it back down. And then I think we're going to reroll everything again. And absolutely, I want Daddy Long Legs. I will take Depression. Those other two items, uh, not so much. Although there's an argument to be made for Ludovico technique. But I kind of like where we're at. And I think I want to stick with it. Even if we are like randomly throwing away HP at basically every available opportunity. But the rate of fire is so good. Um, okay, so now we get a chance to re-roll these items again. And yes, I will take friend zone. That should be Beelzebub, and it is. And then we keep going over here. Okay. Prayer card. Well, I mean, it's a good item, but for where we're at in the run right now, it's not something we need. Shot speed is good. I mean, the Ludovico technique actually wouldn't be that bad just because our shot speed is so good. But we can do better. Okay. Um, so I've got, like, multiple rerolls here. So let's reroll this. Sure, we'll take that. 
And then let's reroll you into the D-Infinity, which I will pass on. This run, yeah, this run really turned around. Like, just the, the rate of fire increase, and then sinus infection, all that kind of stuff, it made such a big difference. The run was never, like, bad at any point, but it was fairly mediocre for a while. Sure, we'll take Little Brim. It's a good item. It certainly went through a, a period of just, you know, relative averageness. Where it was like, well, you know, it's not bad, but it's not exactly great. Maybe even medi- uh, you know, you could say a, a period of mediocrity, but I think that's a, a little bit too strong of a word, honestly. Because it wasn't ever really even, like, mediocre. It was just, like, never... It was always just solidly middle of the pack. Just average. But it ended up being a good run in the end. Guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.